Film Club. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Film Club. I'm one of your hosts, Andy Harrison, and with me, as always, it's Andy Donaldson. Hello. Andy, after a short little break, we are back, and we are here to talk about Desperado. Soy un hombre muy honrado que me gusta lo mejor. A mujeres no me falta ni el dinero ni el amor. Gineteando en mi caballo por la sierra yo me voy. Las estrellas y la luna ellas me dicen dónde voy. The continuation of the Mexican trilogy, where they speak Spanish, not Mexican. Desperado tells. <laughs> I had to correct that man. Desperado tells us a tale of uh, moving on from El Mariachi, but slightly different. Antonio Banderas takes over as the the main protagonist, and he's a similar vengeance kind of story. Desperado is the one that I got introduced to Robert Rodriguez on. Just to have like that introduction there, and um, you know, later on, you'd have Tarantino's character come in. That like, again, or like Tarantino dialogue. Of course, it's going to be good, but it's, you know, he's, he's mates with Rodriguez, and he comes out with that lovely story about pissing in the fucking bar and the pool table. And it's like that bet. You know, let's let's do a bit more writing. The previous film was obviously in Spanish, not Mexican. And, you know, it, it was hard to deliver those kind of lines in something where us as English um, native speakers would understand that kind of fluidity, the language. So something where it's now uh, in English, it was it was refreshing to hear. Uh, and I'm not saying it was better. I'm just saying it was refreshing for my hey, end. Come on. Good luck. Don't get shot. Did you want confession? Eh? Hey. Well, maybe later, father. Because where I'm going... I just have to come right back. How did you feel? So Desperado to me is where Robert Rodriguez sort of realizes his vision for El Mariachi. Although when we were doing El Mariachi last time, I did say it's my favorite and that still stands. El Mariachi is still my favorite of this this trilogy. Desperado is clearly where he got the tone that he wanted. He got sort of the, the quick sort of witty pacing that he wanted. He kept the energy that he had from El, El Mariachi. He turns up the craziness a bit more. <laughs> yep. Um, there is a bit more of a Hollywood sheen to all of this, though, which is strange mm. because it still has its its B movie roots are very much on show here. Um, particularly, like you said, with that wonderful opening with Steve Buscemi. That's honestly maybe my favorite part of this film. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. opening captures the idea of the mythology of what the mariachi has become to these people. I think that's a wonderful, yeah. wonderful opening. And Steve Buscemi is really good. I agree that he's getting better at writing dialogue, but there's a lot of this film that I think is quite underwritten. Uh, I think there's... Okay. I think it has a lot of trouble writing satisfactory character roles. People in this film sort of come and go without any real yeah, sort of yeah. weight to them or any, any purpose or meaning. Steve Buscemi gets, gets killed quite quickly after having a relatively prominent role in the film. Uh, Danny Trejo gets his big build-up and then gets sort of tossed aside quite quickly. Um, yeah, but it's how cool how cool is his inclusion? He's just there and he, like, knives away. Then, yes, he does die, but it's so, like, it's such a little, like, wow, cool. Yeah, it, it, that's what I mean. He makes such wonderfully... Um, they feel almost like, in some ways, they feel like comic <laughs> characters. You know, and that, yes, that is that yeah. sort of the B movie style coming through there, right? They feel like these these caricatures of of ideas are spun off into crazy assassins, and that's that sort of elaborated on later on with the rest of the mariachi trio. Um, which, yeah, yeah. By the way, a lovely little tip of the hat because one of those mariachis is Carlos Carlos Gallardo. Gallardo. Yeah, yeah. Um, who obviously yeah, was, was uh, the main character in the first one. So this is this is a scene that I always remember from Desperados, and we'll jump into it towards the end. That massive shootout, and it's where the come up, and you know, his guitar case has got the guns in. He's like, oh, they, you know, the, the band's back and everything like that. And then suddenly, Carlos Galado's character just has these bloody mini guns in his guitar case. Like, where the hell's a guitar going to be? It's nowhere. And that's where the, the silliness of Rodriguez kind of ramps up and mm. goes a bit crazy. Uh, you'll see it in the later film as well. Having a shootout where the, the fucking killing people with guitar cases. What more could you want for like a kind of, as you said, a, a Rodriguez kind of B movie, A movie kind of art house, whatever. How do you feel about um, recasting? By the way, you know, obviously Antonio Banderas takes over as the as the the, the mariachi. I think he's called L later on. Um, but how would you feel yeah. about him taking over from Carlos Gallardo? I thought Carlos Gallardo was class uh, in El Mariachi. I thought he's really handled the comedic kind of stuff. So I was a bit. Not seen Desperado in a while. I was a bit 
mm, how's Banderas going to handle? You know, is it going to be any comedic value to him? He does. I think it delivers really well. I mean, don't you know? Don't get me wrong. This is quite one of his earlier kind of films. Um, and later on, he he was kind of put into that Latin lover kind of stereotype, and then later on, he, he moved out of it. But I don't know. I, I feel like he delivered quite a few lines well. He he, he showed like a a vulnerability that Galardo didn't actually maybe have because he was just like mm. built on look. Bandera is, is able to provide that larger range because this is a bigger character. Like he, he mm. feels like a more um, ethereal character. He feels like someone a bit peculiar. And he portrays that range in a much better way than Carlos Gallardo, I think, could have. He does lose the everyman quality, I think, that you know, that, yeah, that's yeah, sort of yeah, like yeah. in that first film. But you He's know, a bit it, of a badass. A um, side note, my continued absolute just irking of Quentin Tarantino continues. I hate him in this film. I think he's awful. That's, un- that's understandable. I don't understand why every time Quentin Tarantino is on screen, well, first, I don't understand why people <laughs> keep putting him on screen. And second, I don't understand why they give him lines because every time he says a line, it sounds like a fucking line. It, it is. It, it was there. I mean, he could have reasonably got away with the Bashemi story before, but I kind of <laughs> like how they have these kind of these stories and it's taking the bartender in. I like how this bartender is just a recipient for people's stories. We need to give a shout out to Sam Hayek. It was one of the like third or fourth feature film. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really enjoyed her in this. I really uh, I enjoyed how her character is kind of like obviously a lot of sass to her, but she's able to handle herself. She's not like this femme fatale and, you know, oh, I've got to, uh, you know, watch out for her. She actually handles herself and she's she's able to kind of counter Antonio Banderas, you know, L uh, in this film. I, I do enjoy that. Oh, um, by the way, silly little thing, but bringing back Mauricio and his sidekick for that one little <laughs> scene where it's a flashback <laughs> and he, he does the gag yeah, he does the lighting the, the light off his, yeah, off his beard yeah. gag like it's, oh, I love that that's, a, that's a, such oh, a yeah. funny silly throwaway little joke I can't quite figure out if Rodriguez purposely sort of made this a retread of the same material from El Mariachi mm. it, it feels very very similar in terms of its structure yeah and yeah yeah 100% I get from a filmmaker's point of view he probably wanted to you know, throw this this much bigger budget um, into that same sort of script because you know it was, it was quite a nice script in fact he went from seven thousand all the way up to seven million in terms of budget yeah. for this it's literally yeah. a one thousand times increase in budget that's absolutely mental um so i get that he maybe wanted to sort of polish it up and present it to a larger audience and i can assume that's also why they sort of moved over to having it as an english language spoken um unlike you i, I didn't really have the same sort of feeling in, in regards to swapping from english uh, and moving away from Spanish. I did really like, actually, I completely forgot to mention this earlier, I love that Banderas can actually play the guitar. Oh, yeah, that was a really good call, yeah. <laughs> so instead of having, to, like, shots of, like, straight in the guitar, we have someone else play in front. Yeah. Banderas is there, and obviously he was singing as well at the start, you know, that's, yes. that scene where he's singing for the audience. It's great at that. Um, interesting story. So I said to our dad, I, I was on about how we're doing the Mexican trilogy, and, um, or Mexico trilogy, sorry, and I was saying, oh, yeah, you know, we watched El, um, El Mariachi, you know, the original, the one that you said, it's in Spanish, you never watched it. I said, oh, I've, I've got it rented, you know, at the moment on Prime, whatever. You should give it a watch. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so he came to, back to me later and he said, yeah, I watched it. Parla shite, I turned it off. I was like, fucking <gasps> hell. Oh, no. I was like, oh, my God, Dad, like, why didn't you just give it a chance? It was brilliant. He was like, no, I didn't like this, I didn't like that. And I think it's because he's so stuck on Desperados and it kind of, like, fronts what you said. If Obviously, if you watch Desperados and then suddenly you're watching, like, a, a lower budget version of the film mm-hmm. that you love, you might have issues with it, whereas mm. I didn't. I loved El, El Mariachi. But yeah, I thought Absolutely. it was a, I thought it'd be an interesting story for you. There is Desperado. You can let us know in the comments below what you thought of Desperado, or you can hit us up on Twitter, as always. But Andy and I are going to be back once again next week, where we are rounding out this trilogy with Once Upon a Time in Mexico. See. Until then, get watching.